Well, each year the Phillies host a clinic and luncheon called Baseball 101. It's a great chance for more than 100 women to learn about the game they love and also receive instruction from the Phillies coaching staff. We tagged along this year and found that these women are both smart and also have a great sense of humor. We begin with a lesson from first base coach Davey Lopes, who we also welcome back this week to his familiar spot in the first base coaching box. If the defense doesn't make the play by you being aggressive, you have an opportunity to take the extra base. But if you're patting yourself on the back, look at me, I just got a hit, look at my hair, <laughs> whatever, I just got a nice hairdo and I got a single. The women lucky enough to be here at Citizens Bank Park for Baseball 101 learned what it's about to be a Phillies player. And they also found out some inside information that only the coaches know. Any position player throws four seamers. Because you throw a two seamer here, the ball is going to move. If, if Jimmy Rawlings is in the hole here and he's got a two seamer, this ball is going to come out and tail on him. But you will get in here and hit. So just don't be nervous. Don't be tentative. Come in here and let her, let her, let her go. But some of you are going to swing like this. No, I want you to swing to where the bat hits you in the back, like this. I'm going to do this one. Hand. Relax. Step. No up-close and personal visit to Citizens Bank Park would be complete without a trip to the bullpen and some instruction from pitching coach Rich Doobie. Curveball is more of a break like this. The slider, which a lot of guys will grip some here, some go this way, all right? Some will even get over this way. Uh, slider is going to be harder, and the break itself is going to be kind of two planes. Okay, it's going to go this plane across. Do they surprise you sometimes with their knowledge of the sport? Yeah, they're pretty sharp. A lot of them uh, have an idea. I mean, they're probably smarter than their husbands, I would think, some of them. But they, they ask good questions. I mean, it makes it, makes it fun when they, they, can, uh, they can understand the answer. In addition to the lessons learned on the field, the women also got a chance to play the role of the media, firing away questions at Assistant General Manager Ruben Amaro, Jr. Since it's Burrell's last year of his contract, do you have any plans for next year? I was waiting for those questions. <laughs> Who wants Burrell to stay? Who wants Burrell to stay because he's a good hitter and not because he's good looking? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the new manager of the Philadelphia Phillies. Thank you. Thank Gail you. Casey. It takes a woman to get the job done. Whoa. Thank you. These women got to rub elbows with Hall of Fame broadcaster Harry Callis. And they tried on the same gear that the players wear. I took a special interest in this perspective catcher. Well, you can, excuse me, but can I get to first base with you? <laughs> Scott! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my wife of the last 36 years, Kathy Palmer. <laughs> And Baseball 101 wouldn't be complete without the comedic stylings of Greg Dobbs. So you got guys jumping over the, the, the foul line. They don't want to touch the white chalk. You know, I, I, don't, I don't understand it, but I do it. I mean, <laughs> kind of sucks me in. <laughs> it's kind of, oh, it's white. No, what, no, don't touch it. It's really nice. It's, it's pretty. Leave it. <laughs> Great time, man, by all.